<laughs> welcome to my page. I am a health and fitness coach. My name is Missy Mo, and I am so excited that you're here. If this is the first time that you are coming onto my page, welcome. I'm so blessed to have you. So I want to talk a little bit about what I do. First off, I'm a health and fitness mindset coach. And so, <clears throat> with, and also a registered nurse with over 23 years of experience. Wow, I know, right? And <laughs> I just want you to know that my, you know, mission and my passion is to help, you know, busy moms reignite their inner light and just know that it's okay to take care of yourself and it's okay to basically just not put yourself on the back burner of life anymore and that you can do horrid things and that you can, you know, just take care of yourself and that you're worth it. And so today what we're going to do is we are going to talk about some health, some, some meal prep. Like, you know, usually on Tuesdays it's like tasty Tuesday. And so today I want to talk about meal prep. Okay. And I want to talk about bulk meal prep. So get your pen and paper ready. Make sure you share this um, out right now to where more people can join to where they can talk, they can learn about meal prep and how easy it is and what you can do to strategically put a few things into your life that is going to help you serve your family better. It's going to help you have a more productive week. It's going to help you not feel so overwhelmed with eating clean and trying to get all of your nutrition in line. Okay. And so especially this is new to you, but let's talk. First off, we're going to talk about what you can do for setup. Usually you usually people pick a day that they have off to do meal prep. Okay. Um, for me, it was basically whenever I was working outside of the home, it was usually on Sundays whenever I was working as a director of nursing Monday through Friday. And so I would meal prep on Sundays. And then, um, as whenever I transitioned over into another job, um, where I was working uh, more shift work and I was working like three 12 hour shifts a week, I had every Monday off and I was working like every other weekend. So the whole like put it on Sundays didn't really work for me. So I just want you to know, pick a day. That's the, that's the number one thing you have to do is to pick a day that you can, um, that you can put on your calendar that this is whenever you're going to meal prep. And usually what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the grocery store the day before, or maybe that day. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Scott. Thanks for joining. Um, hey, Candy. Thanks for joining. And I want you to just think about this as, you know, it's not going to take a lot of time if you're, if you plan it out and you're strategic about it. And trust me, if I can do this, you can do this too, because I am like a hot mess whenever it comes to meal prep. Like last night on a Monday night, um, I was meal prepping because you know, Monday was, Hey girl, uh, Monday was uh, mother's day. I mean, Sunday was mother's day. So I wasn't thinking about meal prepping or doing anything like that. And I didn't go to the grocery store. So yesterday I did some meal prepping and I'll talk about what I, what I fixed yesterday, but I want to talk about like a few things that you can, you can do to simplify meal prep for the week to where you're not so overwhelmed, right? Because it, it can be overwhelming. And so we'll talk about what you're going to do. So you're going to batch prep. Okay. So what I want you to do is like on your day that you pick either Sundays or Mondays, or maybe it's Saturday for you, whichever day it is that you have about an hour to two hours to commit to this. Then <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to start off with making some brown rice. Okay or your your quinoa or maybe you'll do one of each and you will get that ready and you'll put it in the rice cooker um, or you will start boiling the quinoa it's basically a two to one ratio just like rice is um, over the stove and that is pretty simple then what you're going to do is you're going to get old-fashioned oats and you're going to you're going to prep your oatmeal and you're going to do it on the stove as well so you're cooking your quinoa and you're cooking your oatmeal at the same time and your rice cooker is going so that's three of your you know your fiber filled carbs that are going right so how how easy is that that's easy it's going all at the same time it takes like maybe 10 minutes to get your quinoa done the longest thing that's going to take that's going to take to cook is going to be your brown rice but that's going to be in the rice cooker so it's kind of like put it on and like turn it on and forget about it you don't even have to worry about that all right, just get it in the pot and do it. And then what you're gonna do, the next thing is you're gonna throw in some sweet potatoes into the oven, all right? Because this is the best way 
for you to have sweet potatoes. Anybody that is, uh, you know, a Cajun girl knows this. <laughs> you know, my grandmother used to cook them and I still remember and I can still envision the pan with the sweet potatoes like on top of the pan, wide open, and she would rub them with oil. And um, of course, that at that time it was vegetable oil. So you may wanna just spray them with, you know, like some coconut oil or use some coconut oil to rub them or what have you. And she would put them in the oven for an hour on 400 degrees. So you can do that at the same time you turn your brown rice on. And it's so easy, but also the easiest thing too with you know, you can do it that way, or you can get the little bags that they have now with, they're amazing, they're portioned, they're already portioned out for you, the the uh, sweet potatoes, because they picked like five, there's like five small sweet potatoes in these little microwavable bags. And you can throw them in the microwave and steam them. Hello, that's like five servings of, you know, of a, a you know, sweet potatoes for you right then, right, right, right there, all right, in the microwave. And I think it takes like seven minutes or you can get what I got um, was I got a, one of these bags. It was like a sweet potato bag at, um, at, at a CVS. One day I was like shopping and it was one of those, they have this aisle. Um, I think they have an aisle like at Walmart too, but it was this aisle and it was like as seen on TV. And so I'm like looking, you know, just kind of like looking at all that stuff because you know i like to look at that stuff that's where i first got my like zucchini noodler hey barb hey ashley thanks for joining if y'all can hear me uh let me know comment below with uh, your favorite emoji okay uh, and um so i would like look down that aisle so you know lo and behold they had this bag this like red bag and it was like a, how to cook sweet potatoes in the microwave and I was like oh my goodness what is this and it took like it would take like seven minutes so it was like I still have the bag but now I have a little bit more time but in a, in a pinch I will use the bag and you just put your sweet potato in there no oil on it nothing and you it's like a little I guess like a little quilted bag and you throw it in the microwave for seven minutes and it cooks it perfectly and so it's like seriously like a little slip through bag and um, that's it and so those are some key those are some easy ways guys to um, cook your you know your bulk meal prep all right and so this allows you if you have these already prepared that allows you to like maybe do some chicken breasts maybe you want to bake some chicken and put it in the oven at the same time the sweet potatoes are going or instead of doing the sweet potatoes in the oven you want to do the sweet potatoes in the bag but if you do this, you can like cook some chicken breasts, like either on the stove or you can, you know, it's beautiful outside right now. And so you can like grill chicken breasts. You can grill some shrimp on the outdoor uh, grill, or you can bring your husband and get him involved. Maybe he likes to grill. And I know that's so true for some of my um, challengers that, you know, their hubby loves to grill on the green egg and, or on the just the regular grill. And so they will throw on some chicken breasts on Sunday nights you know after they've cooked maybe during the day and they will that's where they will do their prep and so it makes it easy and not so overwhelming and that's that's what that's one of the key things is like to get over the overwhelm right because who on here uh, can give me like your you know an emoji or what have you that is just going to like that, that says I am overwhelmed I don't know what whenever it comes to meal prep is meal prep is that you do you get overwhelmed with it or do you have like a system in play in place where you can like just regurgitate it turn regurgitate it like I just did for you like let me know because this is like key if you can get meal prep under control and um, <clears throat> and in your head thinking that it's not such a big scary big monster like it used to be for me because four years ago the thought of meal prep made me want to like kind of puke in my mouth seriously I was like I am not meal prepping anything I don't know what y'all talking about with these containers because that was you know what I started out with I don't know what you're talking about but I'm not going to like meal prep and you know what I did it and whenever I do, do it and when as I've done it pretty much like every week I'm doing some type of a meal prep you know and I've, I've evolved from doing these basic um, you know these basic key um, foods to um, doing a little bit 
a little bit like I did like last night and I'll kind of talk a little bit about that because I had some extra time on my hands and I needed to cook a few things before they went bad in the refrigerator and that's one of the beautiful things about meal prep is that you can take everything that's in the fridge that you might have bought bought fresh and you can cook it on the stove and then you just put it into like a bulk container and your um you know and store it in the refrigerator and then each each day you can just you know eat from it or make your meals or you can even use it and you know create some meals at the same time it's up to you totally up to you but it makes it so versatile right and that's the key is that you want to have some versatility and you want to have some you know some strategic a strategic plan in place to where you can have that sense of accomplishment. Hey Anna, I was just talking about you and your hubby uh, grilling and doing your meal, helping you with your meal prep. That's who I was referencing. I didn't reference your name, but there you are. You're on here. <gasps> Good to see you. Um, hey Barb, I don't think I noticed that you joined, but glad you're here. All right, and so, and hey Nancy, I don't know if I told you hi earlier, but hey. <laughs> All right, so this is like what, this is just like easy. Like, does this sound easy to you guys? Give me some thumbs up or like some hearts or something just to where I know know you know that or maybe you can ask a question if you want to ask a question feel free to do that too because I'll answer it like right here as soon as I see it but right now I'm just seeing the live viewers for some reason so I see Anna's on Nancy's on and Barb's on but anyway if you have questions I will get to you I promise by um, if you answer if you ask them below I'll answer them for you okay but you know the other thing too is you want to make sure like that you um, you can you can plate them in. I mean, I, I just do like bulk containers. I have these like plastic containers. They are BPA free. So you know, if I would happen to put those in the microwave, then it would be okay. But then I also have like glass containers. So I have a variety of different containers because you kind of have to, right? Whenever you're doing this and whenever you get your mindset. But it makes your life so much easier when you do it. And I know that I. I know that I have a better week whenever I meal prep some staples and that's just the way it is. So you just have to get into the habit of doing that. Hey Tamara girl, how are you? Um, but like, let's talk about what I, um, what I created last night. All right. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm being a little Cajun girl here um, and back in my home state, I just love to throw things together, right? And I don't do a lot of measuring. I'm not sure if you can relate. I think most of you guys can that are on this call. Um, maybe not Barb, because she's from New York, but hey girl, <laughs> she's a New Yorker. And so I just want you to know that you can just throw things together and make it taste really good. So I, I got this broccoli slaw. Okay, and it's not coleslaw, but it's like the broccoli slaw that has the carrots and the cabbage in it and everything. So basically, I was gonna make a stir fry because it was about to go bad. The date was like, ah, I gotta cook this, right? Because I don't wanna like, you know, lose this $3 that it cost to, you know, get this stuff already shredded. And so basically, I put some olive oil in my, uh, in my wok, like this wok frying pan that I have, and I just like stir, started stir frying it, and then I have liquid aminos, which is like a soy sauce. Um, it has a soy sauce taste, but it doesn't have as much sodium, and it's, um, it's much better for you. So it's by uh, Bragg's, which is the same company that I use um, and love their um, apple cider vinegar. And that's what I make some of my dressings with, um, but we can talk about that later. But I, what I did was I added some of the, bra the Bragg's and I did like probably like a tablespoon or two. And it's like, in a, I mean, that's like a whole bag of the broccoli slaw, right? And so then I'm just sauteing it. And so then I put fresh ground pepper. I don't really add any Himalayan salt because there's enough sodium in, hey Liz, uh, there's enough sodium in the Bragg's liquid amino. So I don't need to add any salt. So I do the cry, the fr the crushed ground pepper, and then I did red pepper, sprinkled that on it. I don't use any pre-mixed seasonings that are not organic or from a known source that I know is not using any MSG for the non-caking um, stuff and, or preservative, preservatives or anything like that. So stay away from any of those pre-mixed seasonings that you um, are not familiar with, um, unless they're like organic and non-GMO and they are... Um, basically uh, 
man, you know, process correctly because all they're doing is putting thing, you know, the different seasonings together. So then I basically used some, I did, I did use some Flavor God Garlic Lovers, um, um, you know, seasoning on that. And that's basically all just like, it's got black pepper, red pepper, garlic and onion salt and paprika in it. And so that was, that was a yummy one. And I put that in there and then some regular garlic powder and I, I don't think I added any more paprika, but I just kind of sauteed it and waited for it to get like, not, like kind of dente, like al dente. So it was kind of like, it still had some bite to it. So you don't want it to get soggy because you're gonna be reheating it, right? So you wanna watch it and it took like about 15 minutes, okay? No big deal, it was fast. Hey Rebecca, glad you're on. Um, and that was quick and easy and that's a good base. Like for tonight for dinner, I had that with the next creation that I'm gonna to talk to you about that you are gonna die, of. you're gonna die, okay? Um, I, did, I created it last night and it was great and it's Logan approved. He's my 19 year old, soon to be 20. Um, that is a very picky eater and I got it approved by him. And then I had my salmon with it, all right? And that was my, my dinner for tonight. And that was leftover salmon that I ended up cooking bulk you know, over the weekend and then I put it, you know, I had like three servings left and I put it in my little container and I put it in the refrigerator and therefore I could just pull from it. Hey, Melanie, how are you, girl? Um, and I just, I could just pull from it and then I had dinner already ready. See, no stress, no stress at all. I just had to had it in my refrigerator and I just pulled it out. All right, so that one's cool. And then you could also do something like, you can, and if you're doing that broccoli slaw, you can also make it like an, uh, uh, basically a, uh, um, egg roll, but an unfried egg roll, I guess you could say, <laughs> by adding like ground turkey to it or um, adding like some uh, grass fed, grass finished beef to it um, just to make it, you know, really, you know, have the protein with it. I chose not to because I didn't have anything defrosted and I knew I was going to want it as a side to have more veggies incorporated into my meals and I like to uh, sometimes you know n not have it as a stir fry because I like to have my meat on the side or my protein like on the side um, as a bigger protein portion I guess you could say. So that's one way. So let me tell you about what I did last night. Okay, I made cauliflower smash. But remember whenever, I don't know if y'all saw my live video whenever I did the cauliflower smash with um, meatballs of, uh, probably about a month or two ago and I went live and I, I made it here like on, you know, on Facebook and I, it was, it was amazing. I had the recipe, everybody loved it. Um, it tasted really good. But this time I had, I, I did this because I knew I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do it. And I knew I could do it, but I wanted to, I didn't, that other, the other one that I did had a different flavor to it. It wasn't, it had, it had different seasonings or what have you. Um, but this one, I went ahead and just did it like mashed potatoes. Okay. So I would, cause I, the program that I'm doing right now, I watched a video from Alana, who is the registered dietitian that created the program and that had, has lost like over a hundred pounds and kept it off for all these years. And she's pregnant right now with her second child. And, you know, she's teaching this, this amazing program and, um, you know, it's go, it's going really good, but she talked about doing, you know, using, you know, turnips and using like cauliflower rice and using that in her videos to make, you know, like rice use it as rice or use it as, you know, like for instead of potatoes, for mashed potatoes, you use it, you use this cauliflower rice. Guys, let me tell you, if you like, <laughs> if you like um, mashed potatoes, like I do, I don't know about you, but <laughs> you know, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like raised on mashed potatoes, right? And whipped, and yes, they were probably from a box and they were full of flakes and Lord knows how processed that was, but <laughs> you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. I still like the taste of it, right? I can just still remember that taste and just how yummy it tastes. I don't care if it came from a box, it was full of butter and you know, salt and black pepper and it was perfect. Well, this last night, I cre recreated it and I used my emulsifier because that's the trick. You have to have one of those emulsifiers or you have to be able to put it after it's cooked, after the cauliflower is cooked and really like mashable. You have to either transfer it to a blender and then whip it up really to where it comes out really smooth or you have to use one of those emulsifiers. And it's like, 
basically um, a, just a handheld emulsifier that you can buy like at Walmart if you don't have one. I, my husband had one from his first wedding, like how long ago was that? <laughs> 25 years ago, I guess, and it still works. So it's a lifelong kind of little trick and I use that and it worked good. That's how I make my soups too that I've done and talked about as well, like my butternut squash soup and whatnot like that. And, and lentil soup, it comes out phenomenal with this emulsifier. So you gotta get an emulsifier if you don't have one. It's the best 20 bucks you'll spend, you'll spend next to, you know, some other, some other items. But anyway, so I basically just emulsified it all together. I added almond coconut milk. Shh, don't say anything, but he didn't even notice. It was good, but you could use, I mean, whole milk or 2% milk. Don't use the 1% or the, you know, the fat, free milk or whatever because that's got too much sugar in it you know they they trade off the fat for the sugar and it's too processed so stay away from that you know stick to the full fat or to the two percent and yes I know you're probably thinking what is she saying what is she saying yes I'm saying it okay and so because it's good for you you don't want all that processed stuff just like you want to go for more of the full fat 2% stuff, not the 1% and lower because that's not good for you. You don't need all that processed stuff in you. But okay, so basically you just, I just added a little bit of that and you just kind of add it and like, you'll, you'll notice the texture because it's just like making mashed potatoes, right? From scratch though, not from the box with the flakes and all that kind of stuff like I talked about, but because you're going to have to like smash these potatoes, I mean not potatoes, but the cauliflower, and then you're going to emulsify it. But guys, it was phenomenal. And so that's what I had to din for dinner tonight as a side. You, I, I seasoned it so well with like salt and pepper and then I added some uh, grass fed, grass finished butter, Carrie's Gold is what I use, the unsalted variety, and I, uh, or the unsalted brand or what have you, and I used that. Um, and again, on your butters, make sure you're using real butter, don't use the processed margarine and country crock and all that kind of stuff. And Sorry if I'm offending anybody, but who might be affiliated with that company, but I don't care. It's about health and this is my show, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about health, right? Because if you, you know, whenever you learn something and you know it, then you got to share it, right? You can't just keep it to yourself. And so I hope that these tips have like helped you and just kind of showed you how you can recreate things and how you can take control of your nutrition because that's what it's all about guys. It's about you owning your power of like knowing that you can do this. Like it's not that complicated. You know, yes, it's whenever it's new, it can be overwhelming, but it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, um, whatever, un not doable, right? It's doable and you are strong, you are smart, you are all capable women. If I can do it and learn it while working full time as a director of nursing, not wanting to do it at all, almost like laughing about it, I know you can learn how to do it. And since then, it's been four years and I'm still doing it. And so hopefully that will help you see that it can be done and that you, you can start if you haven't started yet because it's all about starting and staying started. And if you've started in the past and you stopped, it's okay, get back on it because it's, it's worth it. You know how good it was before. You know that it helped you have a good week. It, it, you know that it helped you have like a, a sense of control over your nutrition and your family's nutrition during the week before, so why would you not want to try that again and go back to it, okay? Go back to what you did because it worked. And so, you know, that's just a few things, a few tips that I wanted to share with you. And I hope this served you. I hope you took some notes. If not, make sure you share this to where it saves to your wall. And also sharing is caring, guys. So remember that whenever, you know, you're seeing a live video and somebody is talking about something that's of value to you and that you wanna learn, guess what? Yeah, there's probably a friend in your life or a family member in your life that needs to learn it too or wants to learn it and is just waiting for like a video to pop up in their newsfeed and say, okay, what is this girl talking about, you know? And they need it and, and that's the beauty of like Facebook and being able to share these things. You know, it's about a community. It's about a social like community and a conversation and so please, I can't see any questions, but I bet that someone's got questions and comments below. <laughs> and for some reason, Facebook is not letting me see anything right now. <laughs> but I just wanna you know, make sure that you 
If you have any questions, I will, I promise, I will answer them right after the show and let you guys know um, about it. And thank you so, so much. And if you are watching the replay, please make sure you um, comment below with hashtag replay. And again, thank you so much. And just know that you are capable of doing hard things and that, you know, living life and laughing at the, you know, the big stuff and the small stuff and then just loving life is going to like set you apart from everybody else because you are going to be that positive light in someone else's world that they need to see. And that's what being reignited means from the inside out because yes, we all have, want to have like a physical transformation. We all may have goals to lose weight or to accept our bodies for what they are or to just love our bodies again. But guys, the main thing is that you want to serve others and that and I'm not just talking about random people I'm talking about your kids your husband your mom your dad you know anybody that's in your life your best friends you become a better person when you start or a better version of yourself not a better person we're all awesome people right but you become a better you and who doesn't want to be better I love learning new things I love you know taking in things and you know, making myself better because I know that my yesterdays, I, I wasn't that great. You know, I mean, I was okay, whatever, but I want to be better every day. I want to get better. I want to do things to help other people. I want to do things that, you know, basically make things easier for people. And if I have to learn them first and share them, then that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm doing right now. So with that, I will let you go. Thank y'all so much for staying on with me. I really appreciate it. And I love this time that we had together. And again, I hope that you have a wonderful day. All right, or a wonderful evening. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye.